hello there. Today, it's a year since Winston and I started traveling together, and I thought we should celebrate it with an easy ride to a special castle. The Chateau de Saint Bonnet Le Foire is housed high up on the Monts du Lyonnais, a stone's throw from the pass that bears its name, on a fold protected by the forest, overlooking the Brevin, at the Gates of Lyon. It is the result of great historical sequences since the Celts, with its architecture and its remains, bearing the traces of multiple epics. While it intrigues and it constantly astonishes, it also knows how to be warm. One has to imagine Saint Bonnet in Roman times. There is no trace of habitat, but in this mountainous region, the roots, whatever they may be, are inevitably influenced by the proximity of Vienna and Lugdunum, and more precisely, by the two great phonic sites of the aqueducts in the vicinity, the Saron and the Brevin. Although the chronology is not precise, the first may have been built about 10 years BC, while the second, some 50 years after JC. Toponymy evokes in particular the Roman road, in Tassin and Polyane, even on the site of Saint Bonnet. We find this Roman road several centuries later. A leap takes us from Roman decadence and the establishment of Christianity to 722, the year in which the remains of Saint Bonnet, Archbishop of Clermont, were carried through the pass. We are almost at the end of the Merovingian world, a period marked by the close relationship between royalty and Christianity, an era considered today by historians, as the founder of the Middle Ages and feudalism. In 722, the Roman roads are regularly reused. The pilgrimage to Saint Bonnet Lefroyd, which for a very long time served as a common thread in the history of the site, is firmly anchored. What do we find on the spot, a little later, on the very first pilgrimages? A stone, a cross, a chapel, a source, legends? The strong presence, later, of the Abbey of Savigny, makes us take another leap in 927. A charter of the cartulary, mentions this place as located, at the limits of a manse under its influence. A church of Saint Bonnet is noted later, still in another charter, from the beginning of the 12th century, in an environment made of a forest, in the process of being cleared. The records of 1824, mention the remains of a religious building, a chapel on the part of Saint Bonnet located in the town of Courtsy. Was it the very first chapel erected after the passage of Saint Bonnet? This we do not know. From the Abbey documents, there are ultimately only a few landmarks, between the Merovingian period, and the end of the Middle Ages. Chapel, church, domain, then later in, the transformations are done little by little. Last owner of the estate, Antoine Adolphe Blanc de Saint Bonnet, was born in Lyon, in 1815, and was around 30 years old around 1830, when the Legitimist movement began in France, of which he would be one of the major thinkers, until his death in June 1880. Anne Adolphe Blanc tells us that a first house was built in 1400. We think, first of all, of the dwelling, necessary to accommodate a priest serving Savigny, this house which will later be the subject of a dispute between the Abbey and the Blanc family. But what about the place of pilgrimage? Is there already a chapel? The 1824 records, note the existence of a ruin, on which Antoine Adolphe Blanc built the current chapel. Nowadays, the Chateau Saint Bonnet Le Foire and its restaurant, under their new ownership, are open by reservation, only for weddings, baptisms, seminars, receptions, etc.
Well, this was our easy ride for today. I hope you enjoyed the ride and the story of the castle. For more information on the location, please check the link in the video description. And, if you enjoyed the music, feel free to look for the Flat Sharks music on YouTube. See you next time. Cheers.